conditioners have become an inescapable part of our cities. They operate thanks to refrigerants, chemicals which, when released into the atmosphere, are potent greenhouse gases. AC units also require huge amounts of energy. The US uses more electricity for cooling than Africa does for everything. As it becomes affordable for millions more people, the problems that come with AC will only get worse. Which is why scientists around the world are searching for solutions. Here at the National University of Singapore, Professor Chua and his team are completely rethinking air conditioning. We need a quantum leap in air conditioning to save energy, secondly, to save our environment. What we have in the lab is next generation of air conditioners, where it's extremely environmentally friendly, uh, less energy intensive, it doesn't eject heat to the environment and uh, doesn't need the chemical refrigerant. It's a water-based air conditioning. It requires only one litre of water to operate for 20 hours. And you can uh, use rain water to power up the system. But there's a limitation. The air needs to be dry before you can carry out this process in an efficient way. And that's why there are two separate stages in this AC. First, it dries the air using membranes that filter the moisture. Then the water inside the unit evaporates, taking heat with it. It's close to what most of us experience every day, sweating. The system uses 30% less energy than a traditional air conditioner, and it's also expected to be 30% cheaper. Crucially, it uses no refrigerants. And although it's not available yet, the government is backing this project, betting that soon it could be a breath of fresh air for Singapore and beyond. Mm.